In the early morning hours of Friday, August 7th, 1959, just two short blocks from where you're standing now, an event occurred so violent, so catastrophic, that it would literally shake the city to its very foundation. In a matter of seconds, the Roseburg blast would rip through the core of downtown, killing and injuring scores of residents, leveling entire city blocks, and making headlines around the world. It had taken a little over a hundred years for Roseburg to build up to this point. Fresh off the Applegate Trail, city founder Aaron Rose and his wife Sarah arrived in the Umpqua Valley in 1851. Rose traded a horse for a donation land claim and within two years he had established the village of Deer Creek. Complete with a general store, butcher's shop, and an inn offering bed and board to travelers for just a dollar a night. Officially platted and renamed Roseburg in 1857, the town was now the county seat and prospered as a primary stop on the stage line between Portland and Sacramento. The city would grow rapidly with the arrival of the Oregon and California Railroad in 1872. Roseburg served as the terminus of the line from Portland until 1884 when the railroad reached Ashland, eventually connecting with tracks coming north from California, forming the Siskiyou Line. The city thrived until 1926 when the railroad would change course, funneling much of the train traffic through Klamath Falls by means of the new Cascade Line. Roseburg would rebound, however, as logging along with farming, ranching, and mining replaced the loss of the railroad revenues. Lumber production would ramp up with the coming of World War II, and the local timber industry would grow to meet the increased demand. By August of 1959, the population of Roseburg was 11,500 a little over half the size it is today. Temperatures had been somewhat hot, typical of summers in Douglas County. Highs had reached the low 90s during the first few days of the month with no relief in sight. It was almost the weekend, however, and Roseburg's American Legion Junior Baseball team had a shot at winning the state championship playoffs, taking people's minds off the heat and providing a little bit of excitement for this otherwise quiet community. Nobody was prepared for what would happen next.